<laughs> Sometimes astral projection comes easier for others, but for most of us, it takes a lot of practice and a bit of time. Sometimes even a bit of luck. I'll do my best to explain how I can do it when I want it easily and why you should or shouldn't do it. So first off, is astral projection bad or dangerous? I don't think so. I mean, we do it naturally whether we remember it or not. The easiest way to astral project is to do this. The trick is to have an active mind, not an active brain, but an active mind. Your brain is the one that thinks thoughts, but the mind is what observes those thoughts. The best time to do this is when you take a nap because you're not really that tired where you like fall asleep instantly, but you're tired enough to where you want to sleep. When you're falling asleep, set the intention first off that you want to astral project. Once you set the intention, it's important that you try to keep your mind as active as possible. You can try counting in your head or something similar. As you get more and more tired, you will start to notice that your thoughts will stop counting or whatever repetitive tasks that you begin. And as you begin to fall asleep, focus back on counting or whatever your repetitive mental work is. Three things will possibly happen. You will either fall asleep, go into a lucid dream, or astral project immediately. If you fell asleep, then repeat the process tomorrow or try again after you wake up if you have time. If you go into astral projection right away, then congrats. If you go into a lucid dream, then follow these instructions. In the lucid dream, you need to notice things. Notice your surroundings. Look at the wall, the people, your hands. Start a dialogue about these things like, oh, this wall feels rough. And just getting more and more aware of your lucid dream surroundings. Next is I want you to remember something. Remember that this lucid dream is actually an astral projection in itself. Think of a lucid dream as an astral projection that hasn't loaded its 4K quality yet. The more you realize this, in fact, is an astral projection, the quality and the feelings begin to raise until, and if done correctly, will flip. Now this is where it can get scary for most people. The lucid dream suddenly feels just as real as your waking reality. When I first done this, it was by accident, and I was so scared that I thought I'd die. I thought I was in a coma or something. And you remember every single thing about your waking reality, but you're in a totally different reality. So basically what a lucid dream and astral projection have in common are this. A lucid dream is an astral projection that's actually in another physical body, whether that's a future you or someone completely different. I have no answer for that. An astral projection is just the energy of you leaving your body, standing over your body, seeing your body. I feel the lucid dream approach is a lot less scary and that's why I teach it in this way. Because in a lucid dream approach, you can easily go where you want and switch realities and do everything you do with an astral projection without having to look over your body when you first leave it, which usually scares people enough to wake them up and ruin their experience. Is it dangerous? Well, is dreaming dangerous? Dreaming is just a memory of an astral projection in my opinion. So take it with a grain of salt and check your tolerance for such explorations. So I hope that it helps. Comment down below if you follow this technique or something else that works for you and might help others. Since we are all different, we can put what works for us in hopes that others can find use for it too. Before we leave, can you hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.